Good morning. I'm here with Luke Diphorn. Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you, Malief. Good morning. Uh, my name is Luke. Uh, I work for the Akvon Foundation and uh, I'm based in Nairobi. Okay. Yeah, so what I would like to do is just to give you some simple tricks about adding video updates. Uh, to start, uh, I'm not a professional filmmaker, I'm an amateur. Uh, we have been using video a lot, trying to promote it in our daily work. So I do have a little bit of experience in using video and uh, I just have a couple of points I want to share with you, uh, which are my opinion on some tips and tricks. And why does it need to be simple? Keeping it simple is always important. Uh, again, uh, video is a very powerful tool. You can explain a lot about the situation and about the person using video. By keeping it simple, you usually also keep the authenticity as well. Okay. Um, so firstly, doing video interviews. Remember, it's about the person uh, you're interviewing. Uh, if you're implementing a project, either it's an education or water and sanitation project, it's always about the people. So keep that in mind when you interview someone that's about that person. Instead of? Instead of uh, just uh, talking about, oh, I am working for this organization and, and no personal. So try to really focus on that person. Make it personal. Yes. Uh, dynamic interaction between the interviewer and interviewee. Just like Madalif is doing right now. It's a contact, it's a, it's a, you know, you're talking together in the same situation. Good. Um, keep it short. Uh, we always uh, say try to hold on to that three minute rule and you'll find sometimes that be, can be difficult because uh, people always have a lot to say about a subject they're very interested in. But three minutes, try to keep it three minutes, very important. Um, sound. We closed up all the windows, we're doing the vi I'm video right now in-house. Sound is very important. Especially if you're out in the field and there's a lot of wind, sound can completely ruin your video. So focus more on sound than on, uh, on how you say, the, the visual aspects. Now, in terms of uh, editing, we always say try to do as little or even better, no editing at all. And try to do the video in one take. So this video will be doing in one take, no editing, put it online. Just like I said, I'm an amateur, so don't focus on quality. You're not here to make a nice Hollywood movie production. No, you're trying to make a video about the daily work that you do. Uh, so YouTube. Um, now, in terms of if you want to film a certain situation, so let's say someone is digging a, or building a toilet. Make sure that when you do the uh, coverage, that the person is explaining what's happening. Because if you just film an activity, uh, without explanation, no one will understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's important. Um, and this, yeah, some last tips. Follow your instinct. If you're in the field and say, hey, this would be nice to do, then grab it out. If at that moment you say, well, it feels forced to start doing video, don't do it. In the end, uh, it, it's also supposed to be a little bit of a fun experience. So if your instinct says, mm, doesn't feel right, don't do it. Make sure the people or the person you're interviewing is comfortable with the situation as well. That's very important. You can't just go in and say, hey, what's your name and what's going on, right? And of course, as with many things, practice makes perfect. So try to do as many videos as you can. And after a while, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, and yeah, maybe become a little more than you are now. To become more experienced. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marlief.